I realize I don't have a huge fan base on YouTube, but if you're one of the few who have been following my Tuesday Tick, you've probably noticed that I haven't posted one in a couple of weeks. Well, I've been on vacation. I really needed a little time off. And besides, the news has been kind of slow lately. What with Congress and the August recess. And the president went on vacation to Martha's Vineyard. Mm. Most of the 24-7 cable news channels have just been rehashing stories about Benghazi and the IRS scandal, Snowden and Russia, and Hillary for president in 2016. Come on, it's a bit early for that. <laughs> really want to get into any of that. I'm more interested in when things pop up that just kind of stick in my craw. Traveling around and I, I stop in at this bookstore and as I'm heading out the door their magazine rack caught my eye. The Time magazine cover. I'm walking away and I just I couldn't get it out of my mind. Now, as well as the obvious cover story about the child-free life, there's another really interesting story advertised on the cover here where the media just totally misses the mark. Pope and change. So the Pope is on the, on the plane coming back from World Youth Day and the press are asking him questions. And then this young reporter asks him about the Catholic position on homosexual priests. And the way that Pope Francis answers just really sends the media into a tailspin. Like, oh, the, the Pope sounds sympathetic and supportive of these homosexuals who want to become priests. Newsflash! Is the Catholic Church changing its position on homosexuality? No. The Church's position has always been that every human being is deserving of respect and dignity, even gays. It's like it's brand new to everybody, but the Pope didn't veer at all from Catholic teaching. The best place to check it out would be to look up the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Well, I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for anybody in the news media to do that kind of investigative investigating. Of course, they always have stood true to the teaching that any sexual behavior outside of marriage is a sin, and that marriage can only be between one man and one woman, because that's the way God made it to be. My feeling about the gay priest thing is, is that more power to them, because if you're gay, and you love God, and you want to follow the church's teaching, you got to realize that called to a life of celibacy. I got no problem with gay priests. I don't think the Pope does either. The main cover story about living the good life without children, I mean, that bothers me on a level even deeper than Catholic teaching about marriage. How selfish can you get? I mean, what is marriage for anyway? Our culture is in decline due to the breakdown of the family. Because of the me first attitude in our society now. People are more concerned with enjoying themselves, having a good time, living the good life, than they are with having kids, being a positive, contributing member of society. It's all about me. And there is another very serious negative consequence to all of this. We are depopulating ourselves right out of existence. If we don't have a birth rate of at least 2.1 kids per woman, we're not replacing ourselves. And the statistics are looking pretty grim. People just aren't having as many children anymore. And our culture is vanishing. And we've become more egocentric and self-centered in our nature than ever before. This whole thing about living the good life child-free that just hurts my heart. People would see this and think, yeah, we're really making progress now. So is that really what marriage is for? Is that what life is all about? Just living the good life? How do you measure success?
by how much fun you have or by how much good you do. Fish Production.